குட் மார்னிங் வணக்கம் இன்னைக்கு நம்ம என்ன பார்க்க போறோம் அப்படின்னா ஸ்டர்ன் வால்மர் இக்குவேஷன் அப்படின்னு தான் பார்க்க போறோம் ஸ்டர்ன் வால்மர் இக்குவேஷன் வந்து ரொம்ப முக்கியமானது இதை பேஸ் பண்ணி சிஎஸ்ஏஆர்லையும் சரி ஜாம்ல இருந்தாலும் சரி இது வந்து கேட்குறாங்க ஓகே ஸோ நம்ம வந்து ஒரு ப்ராப்ளம் வந்து நம்ம கேட்ல கேட்டதை நம்ம சால்வ் பண்றோம் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் திஸ் ஸ்டர்ன் வால்மர் இக்குவேஷன் கரெக்ட் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா How the lifetime of excited state species? Excited state species is a lifetime. How many years are you spent in the excited state? We can calculate it. Using this Stern-Volver equation. Stern-Volver studied the kinetics of photophysical process. He studied and derived the Stern-Volver equation. Especially quenching of fluorescence. Quenching of fluorescence. It involves posters. Quenching of fluorescence involves four steps uh, as follows. In the first step, uh, the first step is called activation process. When light of photon HD1 falls on the molecule A, photosensitizer A, it absorbs the light and it jumps to excited state. It goes to excited state. From the excited state, from the excited state, it undergoes fluorescence decay from the excited state it undergoes fluorescence decay and internal quenching and external quenching in the presence of external quenching now what is fluorescence fluorescence na enna the instant emission of light adhaavu light mele padudhu or molecule mele adu odane emit pannuna adu vandu fluorescence konja neram kalichi the delayed emission of light is called konja neram kalichi emit pannuna adu vandu phosphorescence okay now we study only fluorescence matter na paaka porom appo paathinga na from the excited state it undergoes enala pogudhu on observing light it undergoes fluorescence decay it undergoes internal quenching and external quenching okay now let us apply the steady state approximation to a star because it is unstable uh, species in excited state okay now Passing in now, uh, the intensity of light absorbed, the intensity of light absorbed is uh, um, leads to three process. The intensity of absorption of light leads to three processes. Therefore, the kinetics of K1 concentration of A star is the rate of fluorescence decay. What is the rate of fluorescence decay? K1 concentration of A star. அதே மாதிரி இது பாத்தீங்கன்னா the rate of internal quenching process what is the rate of internal quenching process அப்படிங்க கேட்டா k2 a star and அடுத்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா the rate of external quenching process is given is equal to k3 concentration of a star concentration of q that a is called photosensitizer and q is called quencher photosensitizer for example chlorophyll chlorophyll is one of the uh, well known example for photosensitizer and oxygen molecule is called as quencher it absorbs the light radiation it absorbs the energy from the photosensitizer when quencher transfer uh, a star transfers its excess energy to the quencher okay that is called the external quenching now the quantum yield for fluorescence what is the quantum yield for fluorescence therefore quantum yield for fluorescence is equal to intensity of fluorescence intensity of fluorescence divided by intensity of absorbed light intensity of absorbed light due to absorbed light there are three processes intensity of fluorescence is k1 a star therefore if by ia where cf is the quantum yield for fluorescence or uh, it is also equal to pq pq is the quantum yield of fluorescence in the presence of quencher in the presence of quencher illa pathina a star veli eduthinga illa a star common ah veli eduthinga ad cancel pannunga appo na ungalku indha rendavu equation kadaichu cancel pannunga from equation 1 to equation 2 is not cancelled okay now when there is no quencher when q equal to 0 there is no quencher in the absence of quencher the equation enna aagum paathina q equal to 0 nu avanga p not p not ingiradhu 
quantum yield for fluorescence in the absence of puncture. It means quantum yield for fluorescence in the absence of puncture. Therefore, K1 by K1 plus K2. And the bagi number 3 divided by 2 puncture, P0 by Pf equal to K1 by K1 plus 2. Apa yang nama kilo per meter? Kalau kalau kilo per meter, kalau kilo per meter. Ini pun juga anda ramai nasi ni. Ini K1 K1 ada juga. K1 ada tiga lah baru ni. K1 plus K2 K1 ada tiga itu K3 Q K1 plus K2 itu ada dua lagi ada. So one plus K3 Q K1 plus K2 itu. Ini pun yang pada ini tau. This is the lifetime of the excited state media. Lifetime of the excited state media. Jadi the excited speech here, in the absence of puncture, we can give fluorescence, we can decay through fluorescence or we can decay through internal puncture. The lifetime is inversely proportional to the lifetime. The lifetime, weight constant is the lifetime of the elements. Simple problem I can find out. The lifetime is equal to 1 by weight constant. One by weight constant. That is inverse of weight constant. Tala yi. Tala yi is the other way. Above tau equal to 1 by k1 plus k2. It is a substitute panda. Substitute panda k3. Tau concentration of puncture. Q. This equation is called stern volver equation. This is a very very important equation. Right up. If I am going to have y equal to m m x plus t. It will be m x plus t. Right up. Above the plot of P0 by Pf against concentration of the quencher will give you a straight line. If you have P0 to Pf quantum yield, it can be easily measured. It can be easily measured. If you have measured it, the concentration of the quencher will be put in the quencher. If you have a straight line, the slope, this is the slope of the M, from the slope K3 tau, the lifetime of the excited state speed is. Lifetime of A star can be calculated. Okay, so that is how it is related to the weight level. There is a problem with that. That is why we are here. That is easier to do. Thank you for watching.